Hello, my name is Terry Nemmers. Uh, welcome to another edition of Lion News. Lion News can be found at lionnews00.blogspot.com. Uh, today is November 16th, 2014. It is 10.49 p.m. And uh, what are we going to talk about today? Well, we're going to talk about how uh, on July 23rd, 2014, uh, 2013, uh, Benson Air Egg was harassing us by overflowing our home with their spray plane uh, and um, then when I reported Benson Air Egg to the city of Bruton uh, for report uh, for their burning trash at the airport in violation of the city's uh, ordinance uh, allegedly the police went there to uh, investigate which of course they never did and uh, give them a ticket which of course they never did and so what happened was this this big farce this cover-up in which uh, you know I tried to get the reports the chief was trying to pretend like he had called and, and told me that he had uh, you know he left a message on my answer machine you know, of course, I have caller ID, and I do have an answer machine. So, you know, if he had called and told me that these messages were, or these uh, reports were ready, you know, for this manufactured uh, investigation at the airport, then, of course, I would have the, the message on my machine, and I would have the caller ID register on my phone, which, of course, neither one happened. So, um, of course... To cover this up, the chief manufactured a um, a silly message, which of course doesn't even use my answer machine, you know, greeting, to to make this phony message. So I mean that this is just the extent of the criminality that uh, Bruton Belgrade Chief of Police Derek Bajork will do to to cover up, you know, a violation of a burning ordinance in the city of Bruton for Lakeside Foods spray plane Benson Air Egg. You know, the, the people who are harassing me by overflowing my home in violation of federal law. See? So uh, this is just this is just typical of two different sets of laws. A lawless town in a lawless county. See? So that's the thing. It, these people just Feel that they have rights and you don't it's all they can see is that they are out there to make money and they don't care how they do it and so Benson Air Egg harasses me the police harass me see all as long as they get money they don't care so anyhow what you're gonna hear are the conversations that I had with the chief and we're gonna get into this phony phony uh, message that he sent which of course he sent in DSS format and I presume he sent it that way because not a lot of people know how to convert that I actually have a converter for this so I presume I have a reasonable suspicion that the chief just figured that I would just assume that the message you know was correct and never actually you know convert it so I could play it so you will hear the chief's phony message at the end here you will also hear an example of my answer machine, the greeting on my answer machine. And you'll also hear an example of Stearns County uh, Sheriff's Departments doing uh, an investigation. So you'll hear them state their name, the date, the time, who the subject of the statement is. But you won't hear any of that in Derek Bajork's phony message. You just hear him you hear this phony answer machine kick in which isn't ours and then you hear this message which of course never was left on my machine see so and then we'll play the the Stearns County Sheriff's again so you can see you know how how that compares to to Derek's phony a phony uh, message because you can see he isn't even following proper police procedure when he leaves a message so that's that's what we're gonna do so you'll see why you can't trust any arrest, prosecution, or conviction in lawless Bruton. Because, uh, oh, let me get back to this a second. The, you know, when I finally did get these phony reports, 
There was no squad audio, no squad video. There were no uh, audio recordings. There were no photographs. So, I mean, how could Chief Bajork, you know, claimed he had done any investigation? Well, in fact, there's no proof that Chief Bajork was ever at the Bruton Airport on July 23rd, 2014, or his officer. See? And, and another phony thing about the report is uh, as the person who supposedly they talked to basically told him to go fuck off. Well, uh, the thing is, in, re in the real world, if you would do that to a cop who's trying to tell you that you're in violation of a, a, an ordinance, burning ordinance, A, you'd get a ticket, and B, you'd be arrested for contempt of cop. See, so the, the chief has a history of manufacturing things. In fact, I just recently asked him to send me uh, the, the policy and procedure manual for the, for the Bruton Belgrade Police Department. He made the wild and outrageous out, uh, exclamation that, geez, the policy and procedure manual wasn't electronic. So, again, you, these people can't be trusted. They just manufacture things because all they're concerned about is themselves. They don't care what law they need to break as long as they have the advantage over you. And, and that's what it is because they have rights and you don't. So, anyhow, uh, here's the video. Enjoy. Bye. Hello? Hey, is this Terry? This is. Hey, Terry, this is Eric here at the Belgrade Police Department. How are you doing this evening? Well, I'm doing super. Good. Just returned. Got your message. Returned your call. Glad to get a hold, get you on the phone. Uh, I got your report here in my hand. I'm looking at it right now on my desk. Uh, I'll get that to you as soon as you can get me a uh, request for the report, and it will be 75 cents for the report. Okay. And uh, I'll give you. You got a pen and paper? I'll give you our uh, address, and you can mail that to me quick. Now, okay. as soon as you drop it, I'll call you and drop it in the mail the same day. So, what happened to emailing it to me? Well, I got I need to do this way. This way first. Well, you never mentioned anything about that before. Well, that's how we do it here. And if I could get that from you, that'd be great, Terry. Sure, that's no problem. Okay. Got a pen and paper when you're ready? Uh, you can rattle it off whenever you're ready. Okay, I'm ready to go. Uh, Belgrade Police Department. Yep. EO Box 296. Yep. Belgrade, Minnesota. Yep. 56312. Okay. And it would be 75 cents for the three pages. Sure, no problem. So is that your policy for everyone or just for me? That's for everybody. Because uh, that seems kind of strange. You didn't mention that the other day. Well, I, that's what we do. So, I mean, I usually don't get a whole lot of report requests, and, but that's where we're at. So. so that must have just slipped your mind at the time then, right? That's how we do it. Well, I didn't, I didn't ask you that. Because oh. it you seems... That be that, Terry, that'd be great, okay? Because it seems like you're kind of retaliating against me now, and all of a sudden it's, you're going to charge me for it. Anyway. Well, it seems like that's what the situation is because, like you said, you didn't mention that before, uh, you know, when I was asking about it. Okay. Well, if you could get that to me, Terry, that'd be great. You have a good well, night, all right? That's, I, I'm not done talking to you yet. All right. Got okay. more, one more question? I have plenty of questions yet, you know. All right. Go ahead, sir. So when was this report actually finished then? Uh, okay. You called me on Wednesday? On the 24th. At one yep. o'clock, and you yep. said that uh, you just emailed it to me. I remember that. In fact, I've got it recorded here. If you want me to play it for you. No, I already. I remember the conversation quite well. Right, and I don't. I don't remember anything about being charged for anything. So, so that's okay. my. That's my confusion right now. So, anyhow. Okay. Yeah, you. I talked to you on the twenty fourth. We, we were talking about when this report was finished. It was finished that night. Okay. Uh, my other officer was working, and I came on duty. I came and met with her Thursday morning, and I called, I think, about around 10 o'clock the first time to get a hold of you at the number that you gave me, 320-283-5713. Yeah. I called and left a message. You left, um, you left a message here. Yep. You did. 
Cause yep, I well, got that recorded. You have it recorded. And yep. So what What was the, the – can you play it for me? Yeah, here, hold on one second. Well, I'm sure. recording right now, so – Oh, well, that's handy. Oh, no, yeah. So, I mean, I can – I mean, if you want to another time, if you want to meet face-to-face, -face, I can definitely play that for you. Oh, okay, because you can't play it at, and record it at the same time, right? Correct. <laughs> so, uh, geez, now that now that you, you told me that you're recording this conversation, Chris, I figured that because it sounds like you're on a speakerphone. Yep, yes, so, I am. So uh, why are you recording this phone conversation then? I just want to make sure I'm saying the right things, you know. Oh, okay. Because, like I said, uh, I don't remember getting any phone message here. You know, the only the first thing that's popped up is, you know, the police thing was today. Okay. Well, I did try calling you. I must. I don't know what to say about that. I. Well, that's a, that's what I'm saying. You know, maybe maybe that recording needs to be sent along too. You know, so maybe you can email that to me. You know, and then I can listen to that and see, you know, when that actually was. Sure. So is that going to, you want me to put in a request for that too, and then you can charge me for the, the molecules <laughs> of sending it, or what? Oh, that'd be great. So uh, how much is it going to cost to to send it, you know, over the Internet? Uh, 75 cents. <laughs> I would like you just to send the request in to you know, mail, mail that to our office, and I'll get that to you as soon as I can, Terry. Oh, uh, well, I thought you said you are going to email this to me, or you're going to... First, but now I need you to request. I, I'll, may, I can mail these reports to you, the hard copy. Oh, I'm talking about this uh, recording that you made, uh, you know, leaving a message on my, on my phone. I can, I can put, send in the request, and then once I get that, then I'll email that, rec that recording to you. Oh, okay. Okay. Well, this seems really complicated now. Because you just said, I thought, boy, I'll have to play it back, you know, when I, after I'm done talking to you, because it seemed like you just said you could email it to me just now, you know? I mean, if you want me to, but I will... Well, yeah, just just email it to me so I can hear hear this this message that, that I missed, you know. Okay. Once I get the request. Oh, oh now it's once I get the request again. Uh, you, see, that's really the confusing part. You know, you say one thing one minute, and then you say something totally the opposite the next minute. Uh, you know, that's probably why I called up the um, your city attorney and I said, you know, I just have zero confidence that a report was actually created and uh, you know I, I don't feel like you're protecting the public safety if you don't do your job of investigating see because uh, you know I, I'm smart enough to know how to run my answer machine and I think I would have noticed a, a message on the machine you know and this caller ID on top of it you know I, I really feel stupid if I'd miss both the message and the caller ID so, okay. I mean, so, I mean, you're trying to tell me that I'm I'm pretty stupid? Is that what you're trying no, to tell me? No, I'm not saying that at all. I'm not saying that at all about you, Terry. Okay, because that's what you're trying to imply, you know, because you said that you've called and uh, left a message, and I don't remember a message being there, because, you know, I record all my messages, just like I recorded yours, you know, like you're recording my message right now, you know, so, you know, I, boy, I really feel stupid missing it. Because, you know, I'd really, you know, I don't know why I'd be wasting my time calling, you know, the city attorney's office and, and uh, sending Jeannie an, an email asking for the report if you already told me that you had it. You know? See, you see my confusion here? Yeah, I do. Yeah, yeah. Sorry for the confusion, but hey, I got to go. I got somebody else in, at my door here who needs to talk to me. So if you got any other questions, you can call my office, all right, man? Okay, sounds great. You take care. Yep, bye now. Okay, 2.20 p.m., 7.27.2013, calling Belgrade Police Department. Thank you. Have a great day. 
Chief Bjork, this is Terry Nemmers. It's uh, July 27th, 2013. It's about 2.21 p.m. And guess where I was at 12.20 p.m. today? Yeah, I was standing outside your door, you know, at the Belgrade slash Bruton Police Department. Guess who wasn't there? Well, you weren't there, and neither was your uh, Dana Olmschneid. Olm Olmschneid. Uh, you know... Because I wanted to listen to that little, uh, that, uh, little uh, the tape recording that you supposedly made of my, um, you know, the message you made to my home. And, um, of course, which doesn't exist. So I, I'm waiting for you to send that to me because, oh, guess what? And my payment's sitting right outside your door, too. You know that little uh, conduit that comes out, you know, right next to your door handle there? There's 75 cents sitting right on that little ledge that it makes. So, and um, if you don't get this before my video goes up, you'll, you know, um, you can always call and ask for directions how to find the 75 cents. So, um, I'll be expecting you to email me my report and that audio uh, because you have my email and uh, you have my 75 cents. So, there you go. Well, you have a super weekend. Bye. Okay, it is uh, November 16th, 2014, 10, 10 p.m. I'm calling my own home phone number, 320-283-5713, so you can compare what my answer machine uh, says compared to what the phony, uh, phony uh, message that Chief Bajoric leaves allegedly on my phone. Okay, well, you can see now if, if we're going to compare this message to the message that Chief Bajoric uh, manufactured, which of course is not, uh, he's not leaving a message on my machine because there was no, uh, no caller ID and no message on my machine. So obviously uh, Chief Bajoric just manufactured this, uh, this phone call that will be played next uh, just out of the blue. Unable to answer your call right now. Please leave your name, number, and message after the tone. Well, this message is for Terry Nemers. This is Chief Bjork here at the Belgrade Bruton Police Department. If you give me a call in my office here, 320-254-8282, with regard to your report request. Thank you. Bye. It's going to be an interview with. Rick Tallman, T-A-L-L-M-A-N, 3-13-2014, approximately 11.55 hours, ICR 140-16932, myself, Investigator Lemko, and Investigator Kachemart. <laughs> Hello. I'm unable to answer your call right now. Please leave your name, number, and message after the tone. 
Hello, this message is for Terry Nemers. This is Chief Bjork here at the Belgrade Bruton Police Department. If you give me a call in my office here, 320-254-8282, it's regard to your report request. Thank you. Bye.